there are some new reports out here this morning, mostly from the uh, Washington Post, that there might be a wave or uh, workers at Apple stores looking to potentially unionize. Let's bring in Yahoo Finance tech editor Dan Halley for more here. Dan, uh, how big would this be for Apple's bottom line if uh, we do start to see a union a union effort here uh, inside of Apple stores? Yes, Ozzy, it's really, you know, at this point, still a little bit unclear because it only looks like uh, there's a handful of employees that are actually trying to unionize. Uh, according to this Post article, uh, it's two stores in particular, though they don't really go into which ones. Now, uh, there's more than 200 Apple stores uh, across the U.S., as well as their uh, global stores. Uh, that is a, a large number of potential employees. We're talking in the thousands. Uh, and the issues here seem to be similar to what other retail workers uh, have brought up uh, over the past year or so, basically stagnating uh, wages, uh, the uh, issues with inflation, meaning that essentially they're not earning as much uh, as they used to, uh, and the fact that the wage increases that they're looking at, uh, if at all, are paltry compared to what they would otherwise want. So uh, it's really about how they're getting paid and how they're sharing in the wealth that Apple has managed to generate. It's the first company and uh, first publicly traded company uh, in history to hit that $3 trillion mark, uh, which is just wild to say out loud as usual. Uh, and they want to be able to see how they can get uh, a part of that huge gold rush that Apple's managed to push. And I just want to throw gold in there because you were talking about it. You know what, you are a true team player, Dan Halley. Thanks so much. We'll, we'll talk to you later. <laughs>